Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about how to get more trader trader tickets. I almost said crickets. I, I guess that could be a thing, too. More trader tickets and, therefore, more trader crates. So, the only way you can get trader, uh, trader tickets... I, I keep wanting to say crickets. Um, is by the daily reward. There's one right there. And the supply chest. And then, of course, obtaining them from the trainer herself with... I think it's always been diamonds. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but... If it's not always, it's usually diamonds. Um... And, like last week, we saw that uh, she came out and there was the offer for about uh, 30 trader tickets for 1,000 diamonds, which, which is pretty expensive. But, I mean, if you're going to spend diamonds on anything in Boom Beach, like, that's probably the way to go. Um, but, yeah, so, so the best way to do this is going to be um, doing a couple things to optimize your supply chest. So, obviously, you get a supply chest every day, but, um, the, the supply chest actually comes every 20, uh, every 20 hours. So, uh, a good way to kind of, uh, like a good little trick, a little hashtag chicken trick here. Since it comes every 20 hours, if you get it, um, like, very quickly, like, within the first, say, five minutes, it doesn't have to be five minutes, but, like, within the first hour that it comes, if you go ahead and get the supply chest, um, since it comes every 20 hours versus every 24 hours, then you're actually able to get eight of them per week, and that's eight, um, that's an extra eight, sorry, that's an extra, that's an extra ticket every single week, which actually adds up a lot over time, considering how long it's going to take to get the hero, the hero's abilities upgraded with, uh, with hero tokens, that's actually a pretty huge deal, um, I mean, that's an extra, that's, that's basically an extra trader crate, um, that's a, an extra trader crate each month almost, so that could be an extra 8 tokens a month, which could actually add up to be very significant, um, after a while if, if, uh, if you continually are able to get the, uh, the, the extra supply chest every single week, so I, I felt like this was kind of worth, uh, talking about today, and, um, just to make sure everyone is kind of aware of that. Now, you see the chicken's got the supply chest right there and it's completely empty. So this is something that uh, I'm aware of, but definitely don't always take advantage of myself just because it's uh, it's hard with uh, timing and stuff. I don't know, it, it just depends, right? Like, um, sometimes it's easy to always get the supply chest instantly, sometimes it's not. It just depends when you can play and all that nonsense. Um, Alright, so let's uh, dive on up here. Stage 3, guys. Um... Yeah, since, like I said, since um, it's it's going to take such a long time to actually upgrade the uh, the hero abilities with the tokens, um, any, like, little kind of um, edge that we can get on progressing on those, like, even if it's just by a little bit, like, an extra trader grade a month, which isn't a lot, but, like, at least it's something, right? Um, I think that's going to be really worth it and have a pretty big effect, um, like over oh this is like over a long period of time obviously this isn't like just some hack where uh you you get 50 tickets um just for taking down dr terrence now as far as the ticket drops um i think it would be nice i think it would be not like game breaking if we got more tickets just from the daily events alone like maybe say uh for imitation game if you're able to take it down and uh, maybe it could scale a bit. So say you're you're able to take it down and have now that we get what do we get uh, nine attacks total or something? Um, yeah, something like that. Um, because usually we get to stage seven and, and we get two attacks for now. So wh whatever the whatever the math is on that, um, I think a cool thing for them to do would be to to scale um, extra tickets if you're able to take it down and less attacks. Now, obviously this is going to kind of um, be biased towards uh higher level players but i think at the same time the high level players should be able to get that benefit just because that's really all they're playing the game for right now like if, if you're like level 50 or under or whatever like 60 or under even uh you still have a lot of upgrades left to go so it's not like that big of a deal to get your hero abilities like all maxed out right away um i think this would be kind of um a fair way to balance it and then it would it would also push people to to become to, to max out their offense more quickly um which is kind of how boom beach should be played anyways but it's not like it's it's hard for someone that isn't like deep into uh boom beach stuff to, to actually know to do that like especially when they're starting off and that would be a kind of kind of a good way to like push them towards that style of progression i think um 
yeah, I think that would be. I, I think that would be just be like a good benefit overall for um, for Boom Beach to do. Um, like say uh, and and say on Doctor Terrence, uh, just getting uh, stage seven down would be enough, and maybe that gets you I don't know two or three trader tickets, whatever is whatever is like reasonably fair, I guess. Um, and I and yeah, and the, the the same for War Factory as well. Like say you uh, you take down War Factory and like I don't know you do it unboosted or something, and then you get uh, you get bonus trader tickets. I think anything that that kind of like rewards. Um, like good gameplay i think would be really cool to see because there's nothing really like that in the game right now um there's just like the fact if you beat it you beat it right um i think if you beat it like unboosted if you beat it um in fewer attacks i think it would be cool to get some kind of reward for that i think that would just make it, it, would, it would bring a little more excitement to the events and you could still finish the event without having to actually um you, you can still finish the event. Yeah, you, okay, you can still finish the event and you wouldn't be missing out on anything. You just wouldn't get the extra trader tickets, which aren't gonna, like, which aren't gonna be, like, drastically game-changing by any mean anyway. So, I think that would just be cool. Add a little bit more incentive to the, the kind of the daily grind, um, which they have fixed a, a, a lot lately. I'm not complaining or anything. I just think this would be kind of a cool feature to have. Um, oops. Careful chicken. Okay, we threw an extra artillery down. Actually, no, we didn't. Um, it would just be a cool thing to kind of just uh, add to, like, make the, the daily grind for people who are going to do the events regardless a little more enjoyable and, like, a little more competitive, right? Because th that's basically what we want. It's just something like, um, like, uh, some kind of, like, um, task force leaderboard or whatever for the events would be really awesome to see. Like, I, something along those lines, I think, would be cool. So... Let me know what you think of that uh, down in the comments, guys. Do you think that it's, um, well, I guess what I want to know specifically is, do you think it's a, a good amount of trader tickets that we get right now? Or would you like to see something like some kind of benefit on all the events and stuff like that? Um, alrighty, so we got stage seven here, guys. Stage seven. Um, how do we want to do this today? Uh, do we need critters? Do we need critters or can we use, can we use them to mine clear? Well, first off, I'm going to throw this barrage here. And hopefully get those two crates. Okay, good, good, good. Um, next, I want to go right about here with the critters. I think we can avoid all those mines on the left side. And what do we need to finish? We only need one. We only really need two shocks. So it should be fine. As long as we can get the landing down, that's going to be the only the kind of um, tricky part is the landing. So um, if you put your flags like that and your smoke's basically directly across... You can kind of, um, you can kind of just smoke flag the landing and not have the rocket launcher touch you too, too badly. Um, there's a way to do it better, obviously, but, uh, since we're going to end up shocking that rocket launcher anyways, it doesn't really make a big difference. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the critters out like this and then like that. Um, we got the battle wars up and this should just be a cakewalk, guys. Look at all the extra GBA up too. So stage seven goes down. Back, back, back. So let me know, again, what you think of um, how we're getting trader tickets right now. Do you think it's uh, do you think it's enough, uh, or would you like to see different ways to be able to get more trader tickets? I think that would be really cool. Um, I think it would be a way to make uh, the daily events a little more exciting. The volcano is dormant after powering my terror turrets for 20 long rounds. Let's call it a draw. He keeps making these throwbacks to the, how Dr. Terror used to be 20 stages long. But uh, that's going to wrap it up the video today, guys. Uh, make sure to let me know down in the comments all the stuff about the trader tickets. Um, did you know about the supply chest 20-hour uh, thing? Let me know that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. It's a quick reminder, guys. If you visit patreon.com backslash the chicken for $1 a month, you can get your name in the chicken banner for the duration of the month. And for $2 a month, you become a super chicken, and you can get your name in the banner. Plus, uh, you get to write your own personal message.